three things. One, as we pray, we must have more expectancy. More expectancy. Because there's a lot of praying has been happening over what was before. Relatively, there's a lot. And when it is like this, you must expect. If you don't expect, all the praying can make you all feel better. Maybe and the atmosphere better. But the fruit of the prayer. In, and it's in um, Jeremiah 29, 13. He said, you shall seek me and find me. Yeah, we must find him. We must find him. When he shall search for me with all our heart. We must find him. Yeah, we must find him and we, we, must, we, we, we must be listening for that. Or looking for that find. Not just praying. Yeah. And I take it to another level. In Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. He said, call on the Lord. And he will show you show great and mighty things which we what know not so as we continue in this great time of travail i'm going to ask the leaders to put a little time for that even five minutes out of it to say does anybody ever have anything from the lord now not everything that he said i have, have to be real going to be from the Lord but the practice is good because those who are more mature will be able to to have a teaching moment to say well that revelation does not mean that or you should pray more about it but it's a healthy thing even a mistake is a part of like a classroom so who make a mistake now next time who make a mistake because they're not trying to prophesy like a, 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 a somebody in the office of a prophet. But this is the area to get the best practice when you pray like that. And while you're on your face, God give you something. And, and, and you, you know it's from the Lord. Or you believe it's from the Lord. That somebody come and say something. If there's nothing, there's nothing. But the, the little door open. That somebody can say something. Especially if those who are mature in understanding revelation are here are here and can explain it's very important it's very important right now for some clear because as we as we are praying tonight i hear little by little as we go more and more i hear the clarity i hear the clarity in the prayer improving and proving i hear in the prayer become revelatory I hear the prayer begin to hit some bull's eye. Sorry to use that word, but that's the best I can find for now. The prayer begin to hit some areas that is just like it. It's just like it. It's just like it. I begin to happen. But I'm going to give you two little, uh, what I would call it, uh, things to be careful of. Two, because as you grow, you get more conscious of what you thought was good, but is not good. As you pray, you get more clear. I'm going to give you two things that you probably never hear this in ministry in your life. Don't overdo. You know, most of the time when we preach, we have what I call um, referential preaching. Let me tell you what, as I call it that, it's not, it's not in... <laughs> Yeah. Referential preaching is where we, we can't get going without we say, you know, we heard Sister Brown doing the opening word and she mentioned this. And we try to piggyback what God give us of Sister Brown opening word. Or I heard we hear last night. I'm going to tell you something to try. Try to do it without that. Try to do it without that. Because sometimes God upon you. That word God put up is to correct Sister Brown. Who you wanted to piggyback. You see, you look at me so quiet because okay, you can't be I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Practice for even half of your 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 your, your, your ministry. So let me just utter an sometimes it's a sermon, sometimes it's just a speech like our our leader here was speaking. 
sometimes just to, even though you want to, to say, you know, we hear Sister Brown saying this is more than Brother Brown. And I want to extend on it. Don't extend on it, man. Just give what God give you. Just give what God give you. Because many times you don't know the condition of Brother Brown. You don't know. You don't know. It's, it's, not, it's not like it look. As you pray and pray and pray, your eyes open. And I'm going to introduce the next thing. I call collegial. Collegial. I, I soon get the word. I soon get the word. But for now, collegial reference. That's not the word I want. What is collegial reference? Everything you say is about two people or three people or ten people or twenty people. Learn to find the one. In most great things, two can work together. In most mighty things, with, with Moses and Aaron and, 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 and Miriam. You didn't hear what I was saying. Yeah. So he's he not going to become a... For you to get to that level, you have to learn to identify spiritual individuality. If your reference and your prayer is just always collegial, collegial means it's always at least two colleagues. It may come from the word colleagues. Are you there? It's good. It's good because you can have a united. So, but let me, I'm, I'm taking it to the next level. I'm taking it to the next level. Most mighty move of God was damaged by that collegial thing. I know you don't get me. That collegial thing, most, I mean the mighty, the mighty works. I'm not talking about what trying to reach somewhere. For it to get to no another a level, the collegial have to reduce. Lot have to separate from Abraham. I'm trying to get you to understand, and you don't understand. Or we cannot get to that level if you just uh, every talk you talk is not an Abraham. Every, are you getting me? Prayer people, if all the talk is not a, you, you can't separate. Listen, you're going to be limited because at certain point the good Lot can handle what God gave Abraham to do. And the one who was good to him can handle the next. I'm telling you, you're praying, you're praying, so you have to get there. You have to get, it, 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 it doesn't sound palatable. It doesn't sound together. But the great things never normally palatable. Paul said, my preaching will sound rude to you. Didn't Paul say that? Sugar buggers again. I'm going to give you one more example. Didn't the Bible say that? So, didn't the Bible say that Moses was one of the meekest men in the world? I don't know if, I don't know if it's the meekest, but at least at least one of the meekest, calm, quiet. But why didn't Moses go into the promised land? Because he became angry. The mighty, I mean the meek, quiet, calm man of God was so man attacked and, 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 and had been facing so much oh my god that he lost his gentleness he lost his calmness and the very opposite of that prevent him because he became angry and wrath hit him and he hit the rock and he do other things here there i'm just i'm just trying to let you know that the singularity. Some folks misunderstand. Look, look how gentle and humble Moses was. The Bible said that. And yet still his siblings accuse him of the opposite. I, I, you are. That means that there is something about when God calls a man or a woman. That when you have to step out, he's going to look that way. Because you are, you are, you are separating from con for, for, uh, collegiality huh. <laughs> and generality. 
And you're always talking about we are two are them on leadership. So I'm drop it a little bit, man. And ask God to open your eye. Because out of the tree, so them is one out of the tree. My God, man, they're hindering. Because access is a dangerous thing. Come on, am I talking to I? Come on, get it. Please get it. Please get it. Please get it. Especially what God give us now. What God give us now. Reduce it generally. You have to do it, but reduce it. Reduce it. Reduce it. And try to identify. Try to identify. Reduce the references, man. I may God speak to you, man. The God raise you up, man, as a, as a Paul. Though you had some good apostles who, who never give trouble. They never give trouble. But there was a Pauline anointing needed. Every time, every time Paul referring to Peter, every time Paul referring to John, no, no, you wouldn't get there. You have to come on the scene and don't know them. Oh. And come back and have to teach them and correct them. Oh. And, and, and when Paul get up, guess what happened? The church was on fire, was afraid of him. I said, oh God, that's all I'm saying. Three things. Wait for the fruit because the fruit of every good thing. All this mighty prayer. The fruit, a revelation from the law. A vision in some of you while you're there, you fall asleep a little, God, your vision, you don't have to sleep. You kept getting your own vision and you speak it if you believe it's from the Lord and then God can fix it, God can clarify it. Gonna, and the next thing, this is just for your personal prayer, the next thing now, for your personal prayer, man. I never say stop, but just reduce a little the collegiality and try ask God to let you, man, to let you focus uh, and ask God for discernment to know when the second trouble in the first. Well, you, know, you don't want to hear this. When the third trouble in the first. Come on, oh my God. When the fifth trouble in the first. If the first is not from God, then it doesn't really matter. And then, this is now for your ministry now. For God upon you, half it, half it trying to piggyback off his sermon, man. Do his sermon so mighty, you know? Come on, just give what God give you. It may feel like a dry. To start off, got some God. When you start off, somebody, it help. You know, it helped because <laughs> I don't want to lie. It helped because he, he was doing well. And you say, you see what John was saying, man? And you move on for it. But sometimes you must do that. Start from your dirt. Start from your dryness. Because what God gives you, he's going to help him. Who just preach better than you. Stand up, everybody. And just watch for beholding. Every one of you, there's somebody in your life that you're a little, rec a little reckless with, that you're a little beholding to. And that beholding is trimming, is trimming you, is trimming you, is trimming you. And you're like a beholding to you, who you shouldn't be beholding to. And the devil have a plan for them to, 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 to just calm you down. Take your, be careful of that complaining approach to ministry. The complaining. I call it the, the absolute area. Be careful. There are folks always trying to draw you into it. But that's not yours, man. That's not yours. She about Father, we thank you for this mighty prayer, Lord, that you have called. You have called, Lord. Lord, when we started, we didn't start by feeling, but we saw something, Lord. We saw something. And because of what we saw, we inquired of what was happening in the spirit. We inquired of that vessel that was in prayer. We inquired. Ah, and by that inquiry, when we were certain that it's time for this prayer, some of them not even showed up. 
for all kind of reasons. Oh, my God, deliver them, Lord. Deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them. Deliver them. So I'm not shown up because they're intimidated by the purpose of this prayer. Deliver them, Jesus. Some of them not showed up because they can't travel for long. Deliver them. Deliver them. Thank you, Lord, for this power. Thank you for the strength. In Jesus' name. Anybody have a little revelation? Anybody? Anybody have a little revelation? If you ain't got none, don't say none. Anybody have a little revelation?